Hi, my name is Dominic Clark and I'm an Applications Engineer here at National Instruments. I wanted to give you a little demonstration of the MyDAC and a project I've been doing with it over the past week. So, I've created a project to measure the surface EMG signals of various muscle groups on the body. This is using a MyDAC, which is a very simple to use um, multifunction DAC card that is used in academia and using a simple breadboard with some circuitry based off of a design uh, from an instructor's website. So what we can see with the hardware is we've got uh, some circuitry with various op amps, capacitors and resistors. We've got two 9 volt batteries which are the power source so this is great because um, we're using very low voltages and current, meaning we won't have any problems with voltage spikes or burns to the patient. And we've got the electrode cables here that will attach to snap-on electrodes on my arm. So the way in which the measurement works is that we have, we're taking a differential measurement, so we need two electrodes on the muscle group and then one as a reference. So the reference electrode needs to be somewhere where there's a lot of bone near the surface of the skin. The other two need to be placed on top of the muscle group, but in an area where movement artifact won't be uh, a problem. So once these are snapped on, what we're going to do is, starting in a relaxed position, we're then going to contract and then take the combination of surface potentials and measure these in a lab application that I've written. Sorted. Cool. So now that we've looked at the Project Explorer, let's, let's have a look at the actual application itself. So here on the front panel we've got the big tab control, we've got information on each page, and we've got navigation buttons at the bottom. So I can navigate through the pages very easily, easy for the student to go through and learn about each stage, and then they can simulate signals using the start simulation button, they can stop these, move on to the next page and start real live data acquisition and here you can see the live raw EMG and when I contract the amplitude increases slightly and then I can stop this and move on to the next page where we have a comparison of different EMG waveforms and finally we have a conclusion page that summarizes the whole tutorial Let's stop that and have a look at the block diagram. So here I've used a master-slave architecture with the master loop incorporating all of the functionality of the tab control and dealing with all the results from the navigation buttons. In addition, there's a section over here which deals with closing down LabVIEW if the application is being run as a .exe file. In the processing loop, we have one case structure for each page of the tab control. And this is passed down through a notifier. And then in the ideal readings and live data acquisition cases, we're using a sub-VI, which uses express VIs, to pass out these signals. Once we've had a look at these, we can see that the architecture is very simple, it's very clearly labelled and the stop application button here will close down the whole development.